7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. Solve for x, 7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. 7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. Use the distributive property and what do we get? 7x minus 7 plus 9 is equal to 30. Now be very careful. You should write this as 7x minus 7 plus 9 is equal to 30. What is negative 7 plus 9? Negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2. So we get 7x plus 2 is equal to 30. Subtract 2 from both sides and what do we get? 7x equals 28. Divide both sides by 7 and what do we get? 7x over 7 equals 28 over 7 or x is equal to 4. So let's follow this again. 7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. Use the distributive property and what do we get? 7x minus 7 plus 9 is equal to 30. And then you see that negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2. So 7x plus 2 is equal to 30. So 7x plus 2 is equal to 30. Subtract 2 from both sides. And what do we get? 7x equals 28. Divide both sides by 7. And 7x divided by 7. 7 and 7 cancels out. 28 divided by 7 is 4. So we get 4. Let's use another approach that is a little more user-friendly for us. So 7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. Immediately we see that we can subtract 9 from both sides. So we see 7 times x minus 1 is equal to, what is 30 minus 9? 21. Now you divide both sides by 7. So what do we get? x minus 1 is equal to 21 over 7. Or x minus 1 is equal to 3. Now you add 1 to both sides. So what do we get? x is equal to 4. All right. So let's do this again. 7 times x minus 1 plus 9 is equal to 30. Subtract 9 from both sides. We get 7 times x minus 1 is equal to 21. Divide both sides by 7. So we get x minus 1 is equal to 21 over 7. x minus 1 is 21 over 7 is 3. So x minus 1 is equal to 3. Add 1 to both sides, and you get x is equal to 4. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.